Well, Germany and Great Britain very much in contention in this our next race, the men's coxed four. The German Democratic Republic took the gold medal in Tasmania with uh, the Federal Republic taking the silver. Of course, it's a united crew. But in lane one, France with uh, just their stroke man, Jean-Paul Verne, surviving from last year's crew. Poland in uh, lane number two, still looking for a medal in this year's championships. Raced at Lucerne, but they were some seven seconds off the pace behind Great Britain and Germany. Then in lane number three, a new Romanian combination, but packed with world silver and gold medalists. Interesting to see how they go. Great Britain in lane number four, winners of Lucerne. Bronze, silver and gold medalists in their crew. Lane number five, the, the Soviet Union, with uh, three men from their bronze medal winning crew of last year competing in this year's final. And so do the Germans on the far side in lane number six. The Democratic Republic won it last year. The Federal Republic had the silver medal. This is a new combination, but they've got gold and Olympic medalists in that crew, and they're a threat to just about everyone in this race. Quite a battle in prospect here, certainly between Germany and Great Britain, but watch out for the Soviet, Soviet Union, Union and indeed the uh, French and the Germany. Poles. Ready? Also, uh, keep an eye out for the mini cam on the British boat. Are you ready? Go! French quickly away. Not much to choose between any of the crews in the first dozen strokes. Here is uh, the mini cam carried by the uh, British boat with uh, Simon Beresford stroking the British crew. Himself a silver medalist. The British boat being coxed by Adrian Ellison, Olympic gold medalist. And uh, sitting behind uh, Simon is uh, Terry Dillon, world bronze medalist. This crew and the Germans have been uh, dominating the circuit this year. They've met four times, each have got uh, two wins to their credit, so this is the decider. And on the far side, it's Germany, but this side, France leading the field. France leading the field, Germany who had a slow start, sitting uh, now about second position. Germans looking very strong there, nice, good, strong finishes. They were in a rather upright position, and this helps them to be very quick onto the catches, and in a tailwind, that's going to help them. But the British have had a disastrous start, they like to be up in front, but they're really not moving at all at the moment. French Cox there, Jean Huguet Ballon, calling out the race plan and trying to keep his men on terms. The French got, to a, got off to a very good start, a real flyer. They're sitting pretty half a length up on the field, a very strong field. Now, if they can keep this kind of rhythm and then turn on the power at halfway when all the big guns start coming after them, they could be looking good for the for the last run in. But at the moment, French looking good. Water quite roly, quite difficult, but they're well on well on top at the moment. And the Russians, half the crew that came third last year, the Russians always produce a good, powerful unit in Cox Fours. Here they are again, lying third at the moment. Quick look across. Good, powerful finishes, very strong in the middle of the stroke. That's Romanishin, Bordnichiski, Krushkov and Vysotsky. And it's the French, half a length. Romania, the strong crew, coming into second position at the moment. Romania made up of medalists in pairs. Very strong people, very successful oarsmen with that distinctive, high-rating, upright position that the Romanians row with. And the British at the moment lying well down on the field, looking a bit ponderous, somehow not quite prepared for these tailwind conditions. They got off badly, trying to get back on terms. They've had such a good season. Tail end of the pack at the moment. So it's the French closest to camera who's still got the lead, then in very much in contention in lane two. But the Poles are working away quietly and they're just about in uh, third place. Second spot at the moment held by the Romanians. 
as we come to the halfway stage and the Germans on the far side yet to make a move but uh, Beresford there really must be getting very concerned now he's got to push the crew up into contention or really when the power gets turned on he's going to be left the British are under new management they have an East German coach Jürgen Grubler in charge of them this year and he's put them onto a totally different training regime to their, the, than that they're used to lots of long low work and I just wonder whether this is going to have an effect on their result here uh, in headwind, fine, in tailwind, struggling a little bit but now it's the Romanians who've hit the front Romanians high rating crew moving very well, the French just losing that pace they were a bit suspect, they got away fast initially in the first thousand but now they're beginning to feel the pressure as the big heavyweight men start to turn it on after halfway Yes, they're dropping back now into third, and the Germans and the Romanians in front, but the Germans very threatening on the far side. The Germans moving very fluently there on the far side. Two crews sitting upright, getting onto it quickly, and they're the ones in front. Well, here in uh, lane number two is the Polish quartet. And still in with a chance, the Poles. The French uh, are being threatened by them just on the inside there. And Hugo Ballon is really going to have to keep the rhythm going in the French boat. So it's Romania who uh, lead from Germany in second place as we go through 1,500 metres. Then uh, there's a heap of boats. Poland, Great Britain trying to get back into contention with the Soviet Union at the moment. Just about fighting for the bronze medal. But here are the Romanians and their biggest trouble is going to come from the Germans at the moment who are on the far side. That's uh, Johan Snepp who's uh, stroking that crew and you can see there's an overlap here by both the French in lane one and the Germans who are winding it up on the far side now Dan Germans are moving now the Germans really winding up but the British have come now the British have come into oh into just about third position moving very well can they catch these fast uh, rating high rating Romanians unlikely to catch the Germans they've had such a tough year between the two of them it looks like the Germans are probably going to get it but can the Romanians hold off the British well, I think the Romanians have got to hold off the Germans before they hold off the British because uh, now we go to the bridge camera three from the left of the Romanians on the left is the German crew and they're really forging clear now in this last 150 meters where the rhythm has gone for the Romanians the Germans have found the power and the rhythm and look at that they put distance and water the British are really challenging really hard and so are the Poles the Poles are flying in lane two now and there's a real battle on they sat and they waited and it's gold to Germany the Romanians are going to get silver and the Poles are the British and the Poles have got there would you believe it the British had no more to give and the Poles came in the last 100 meters to take their first medal I think we'll wait for confirmation of that the Germans absolutely delighted they turned it on and accelerated in splendid fashion last 500 meters they flew the Romanians had no answer there but the Poles didn't they come with a, a piece of the end I think the British must have thought the bronze was theirs but the Poles came really up in those last 10 strokes or so and they grabbed it by what about a foot and uh, well I suppose it's one of those races as far as the British is concerned of if only if only they put themselves in contention they didn't they didn't get a medal but the Poles did but Germany take it in a new world best time 558 96 and that's inside the old time of 601 91 quality rowing and a third gold medal for the German team real superb performances coming on this first day of final some of the best rowing we've ever seen in a world championship with the winners coming from all over the regatta course getting ready on the start line for the